Now I'm going to talk about a fantastic, a lost British invasion hit. This this song could hold its own against a lot of the Beatles records. There's no doubt about it. So, well, I wouldn't call it a towering, a towering achievement, but, but it's up there. Let, let's go into it right now. The Dave Clark Five from England uh, at number 12 on Billboard's Hot 100. It was at number 43, jumped 17 to 25, and uh, jumped to number 17, and it's up to number 12. It would peak at number 12, and talk about Billboard's Hot 100 of, of uh, May the 7th, 1966. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. you got to look at this. <laughs> Rainy Day Women by Bob Dylan's on here at number 7. Bang Bang by Cher. Leaning on a Lamp Post by Hermits Hermits. Groovy Kind of Love. Uh, Eight Miles High, When a Man Loves a Woman. I mean, it, this just one fantastic record after another. I mean, what can I say? Talk about the golden years of the 60s. But let's jump into this Dave Clark 5. Here's the thing about Dave Clark 5. you got to understand this about the Dave Clark 5. They were just a great, high-energy rock and roll band. The Genesis, starting in 1957, they were part of the North London scene, the Tottenham scene back in the early 60s. If they never became famous, if they never competed against the Beatles or one of the Beatles contemporaries, uh, peers or whatever in 1964 or 65, they had 17 top 40 hits here in America between 1964 and 1967. If it went, it, you, you subtract all that out, they would have made a great cover band. I mean, they, they killed it over and over. The Bobby Day record, obscure Bobby Day record, they took it up to number one here in America. And uh, I like it like that. Chris Kenner saw they Mike Smith was a fantastic vocalist. He put his heart and his soul into these records. His his voice soared. It soars on this record. And another cover they did, Do You Love Me by The Contours. They did a cover of that in 1964. Does anybody remember their cover of it? Dave Clark Five. And uh, so Try Too Hard. Try Too Hard is, oh gosh. I've been wanting to say this for ages. I've been wanting to say this forever. Try Too Hard, it is a homage to the 50s. It's got the sock cop error all over this record. The, it, listen to the guitar picking on this record. It's Bo Diddley. It's Rockabilly. It's a send up to the 50s. It's like they've listened to all these Bo Diddley records. They listen to Dale Hawkins, maybe a little bit of Buddy Holly, well, a lot of Buddy Holly, and they're saying, man, let's put all this together. Let's make a 50s rave up. And they did it. And the echoes, I mean, <laughs> I've ran out of words. How can this record be lost? What else do I have to say about this song? I, I can't. I can't find out who wrote it. And the album, the album I think was called Try Too Hard, came out in 66. I guess the only thing I'll say, two other things, they made a bunt, a staple on the Ed Sullivan Show. Uh, they appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show about 18 times. Dave Clark Five. Inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. March 10, 2008. Inducted by Tom Hanks. Dave Clark Five. They deserved it. Man, they just... Bits and Pieces. Remember Bits and Pieces? Spring of 1964, those drums, my goodness, Dave Clark Five, not a great band, not a genius band like the Beatles, but they put out some fantastic, super energetic records, soulful records at times, Try Too Hard, I'm telling you, it's a rave up of the 50s. Coming in at number 12 on Billboard's Hot 100, May the 7th, 1966.